in the last, hold on, I need to do the thing. In the last video, my Crown Victoria got stolen by a tweaker on a forklift. And I'm talking, this guy came, he picked it up with his forklift, brought it onto his property, and it didn't stop there. I thought at first, maybe this guy is like just making sure it doesn't get towed. Maybe he knows it's us and stuff like that because it's one of my buddy's neighbors. He doesn't live there. It's just like an industrial kind of lot that he has a bunch of storage and like a shop there. He doesn't live there. So like I'm hearing Nick's stories. This guy's friendly. We kind of know him. He's the neighbor. But that completely changed when I saw this picture right here. This is the Crown Vic a day later, completely stripped. There's no engine, no transmission, no subframe, everything in the interior stripped. There's no steering wheel on this thing. All of it just completely stripped. It's on a tow truck. I don't know if it's going to a scrap yard. I don't know if he's just gonna go dump it somewhere and then I'm gonna be responsible for it. But I'm not even really upset with the guy because he's a straight G. He got that done in a day. My friends, which are his neighbors, they saw him ripping around in a Crown Vic the day after. So I'm pretty sure that my engine and transmission are already running inside of another vehicle. So I can't even be mad. I was gonna go confront him, but at the end of the day, am I gonna knock on his door? There's no house there. I don't really care. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I wish that my friends got better footage. But anyways, I'm gonna give you guys an update on the 2JZ Miata. I just put a new steering rack in it. Originally, I was gonna get the 2JZ rebuilt at GNA, but I got really impatient. This is a new 2JZ engine. <laughs> big and something so small. Big black turbo crammed inside of little Asian Miata. It was easier taking it out. Sometimes if you just spit on it, everything works perfectly. So it's been about six minutes and now it's complete. I'm gonna do the first initial startup and then find out if I'm gay. I'm so nervous. <laughs> subscribe to see the truck so I'm gonna do some truck stuff like, you could just get snow like the normal people there's about two inches of ice on the road right now it's a bad idea to even go out driving this thing but we're gonna do that what are you doing has a big brain. Going like 30 miles an hour, I should have just hit him because I would have got paid out by insurance. My back probably would have been broken. I probably would have peed myself. Insurance will pay out $10,000 if you pee yourself. Just keep that in mind. into traffic, bro. There we go. People like that should just stay home. Oh, he's completely sideways. <laughs> he's trying his hardest to control his vehicle. He's not trying to drift.
like a morning adrenaline rush. Oh, too much adrenaline. You ever get too much adrenaline? I was just making fun of this guy for being stuck, but I'm gonna be stuck if I don't turn around. Ooh, curb, let's hit it really good and nice. On the curb, lovely. Back in the general population we go. That's the thing I love about snow days is there's literally never, there's no cops out. Of course what I'm doing is completely legal because it's CGI and we're in Mexico. That's one added benefit. sets of tires created this. Look at that bulge. Tires got a fat bulge. Oh my god, there's a bunch of bulges. This thing's leaking so bad. I should fix it. He's like on riding the curb right now. That guy's a fellow curb kisser. I have like a pretty flat tire. It's losing a bunch of air and a headache from the exhaust leak that is fumigating this cab. So that's enough truck stuff for today. You guys like watch out, I'm trying to get sideways. It's way sketchier than you guys think. Probably thinking, oh, he's not getting that much angle. Well, it's so sketchy because there's this ice in the middle and then on the road, there's like little just where it's wet and bare ground. So you catch up and get traction and then you're completely just pitched out and then you catch traction again. It's really sketchy and inconsistent. These tires are cooked anyway, so I'm just gonna do a burnout all the way home. Bubble. Man, these tires aren't even cooked up at all. They're so grippy. Look at this. Well, I'm gonna try to save this one tire so that when it's like dry, I can cook them out really nicely. 